Hey YouTube, uh, Striker5570, and uh, here we see I have the latest progress on my printer. Um, I have about 70% of the frame and uh, moving parts ready. Um, you hear that rattling because I don't have the T-nuts uh, for those yet. Well, I have the T-nuts, but not the bolts yet. I don't have those in. Uh, I did not order enough 10 millimeter ones and one is on route here um, so uh, but I have cut all the pieces to length minus the bed supports um, I'm gonna wait to cut these probably until I have my heated bed which uh, this will have uh, so I'm hopefully gonna get a 12 by 12 heated bed because it's gonna be a massive printer here um, but you can see here is the uh, V-slot system uh, being utilized by these right here. Um, and if you notice, I have different uh, here we go, different washers here, which is not intentional. I did not order as many as I should have. These are the precision washers that Open Builds uh, uh, V-wheels come with. Um, and I did not account for the only being, like I didn't account for the one of the washers being inside of the wheel. So I thought I'd have enough, but I do not. So this right now is currently keeping this from spinning because this washer here is the whole diameter of the bearing. So um, I will change those out and this should be really smooth when it's all said and done. Um, moves and everything. There's the same problem here. Nothing's really as smooth as it should be um, quite yet. But um, but yeah, um, I have all the pieces cut to length. Like this will be in here. Um, and this is the uh, Z slider here. Um, I have those printed on a printer um, at school. So I will be putting those on as soon as I get back to school. Um, but yeah, I was able to get, to continue uh, making the rest of this because in my last update video, I'm not sure if I mentioned, um, my, I think my last update video my printer was working, but um, my printer stopped working actually. Um, the printer board fried it again. Um, those little things are very fragile. Um, but anyways, I wasn't going to spend $78 on a new one when I have this one in the works. So. I've temporarily been using uh, a printer at school. Um, they let me use my own filament and everything. And uh, so far, I don't know if you can get some scale on here. There's a normal printer there. Um, this thing is quite large. Um, and I've built it using the maximum volume I can, only using 500 millimeter extrusions. So these are 500 millimeters as they come. Um, from open builds. Um, I have found that there's maybe one to two millimeter variance between um, several 500 millimeter cuts. Um, but the length here they have is uh, that I have chosen to use is 500 millimeters, 500 millimeters. Um, down here it's a little bit shorter. It's like 16 millimeters shorter or so. Um, actually 20 millimeters but it's a little bit more than that to account for there's a little bit of space in there and up there just you know I, um, it works uh, um, and it's perfectly square everything's perfectly squared up and everything um, I will post a link to the cut list that I've been sort of following but modifying a little bit to get the right uh, dimensions that I want because my goal here is to have from corner to corner um, a cubic foot of build space which so far this is going to have at least that so it's all going to depend on how big of a bed I can put in here because um, it definitely has the XY plane is definitely more than a cubic foot um, from corner to corner 
um, I'm just estimating that's around uh, 18 or so inches. Um, and here I have, if you can see it maybe over here, I have two extru extruder ports. Um, my goal here is to have um, two extruders, um, either for different colors, but uh, mainly I want to try and get to work with support material filament, so like um, uh, PVA filament, which is water soluble. Um, that'll be able to make some nice soluble support material. Um, I'll probably just put another E3D in there and take the other one from my uh, other printer uh, as that one's not working right now. But I have everything here and then I have all the parts in here. I have the lead screws, all the motors, the 2Z motors, um, XY motors, and the extruder motor. Um, with a Mark 8 full gear. This whole system is going to be bowden again. So, I mean, uh, using flexible filaments um, is uh, out of the question, but exotic materials should work fine, like bronze fill, steel fill, copper fill materials, even carbon fiber, PLAs, those should work fine. Um, I have this 12 volt, 30 amp power supply that I'm going to be using. Um, it's wired up to a switch. Here. Um, so that should be very convenient for turning the printer on and off. You don't have to unplug it. Um, I'm still waiting on some more screws and bolts to finish up um, the main assembly with all the hardware and everything. Um, I have all the electronics. Um, I'm still finicking around with the ramps board. Um, I have um, a little bit of issues getting the LCD to work but um, I might make an update video on that later. Um, but right now I'm at home uh, just getting stuff assembled because I have a chop saw and I was able to cut everything to length um, since it is spring break and all the school shops are closed. So I just wanted to get a good start on this. Um, but all in all, uh, this printer is going to cost me about 600, 650 max with everything I need in it so it's hopefully going to produce quality that's um, it exceeds my expectations um, but I'm looking for quality around you know MakerBot, Ultimaker quality and those are you know two thousand three thousand dollar printers so for six hundred fifty bucks I think I'm well below um, the price limit for that quality level um, but this thing is it has a bit of waddle in it, but again, nothing is tightened down at all. Nothing is, you know, I don't have all the brackets in yet, not all the bolts in yet. Um, but this is just to get a rough fit, you know. Um, and so far, it's going to be pretty, pretty sweet once I have everything in there. Um, can't wait to show you guys the next uh, bit of progress I have. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.